items to procure for a feast. A pile of official scrolls, stamped with a seal. Thank you, Audin. I will leave with these at once. Of course. A4, isn't it? What brings you to our archives? I've come to ask about these Christian texts. Lufina tells me the Red Hand is stealing them. Mm, and destroying them? I fear they will attack these archives next. The Abbess here has offered to bring the texts somewhere safe. She's been working diligently on this matter. You flatter me, Lord. I only wish to help. Abbess Ingeborg. This is Eivor, our honored guest from the south. Eivor has offered to help rid Jorvik of the Red Hand. How can I help? An abyss does not strike me as a suitable choice against a gang of ruthless bandits. It is my duty to protect the role of Christianity in our lives. Texts like this Gospel of Matthew were created for more than just perusing. They are a gift. They spread the word of God, and it is that which must be preserved, whatsoever the cost. I admire your resolve. But unless the Red Hand is dismantled, they will continue to harm those in possession of these texts. The Red Hand seems to know where to look for these texts. It may be someone is guiding them. What can you tell me? You know something else. That much is clear. The Abbess has her suspicions. As much as it pains me to say, I suspect something foul at the rectory. I have heard whispering, collusion, and the bishop. He has been sneaking around the rectory, often visiting the priests in the cover of night. Time I pay these men of faith a visit. The rectory is on the road to the minister. I should look for the bishop there. I have the Yuletide feast to prepare for as well. Uh, do drop by for the festivities, A4. Have a drink or two.
Stretch your wings, Sunan. Here's the rectory. Here's the rectory. The abbess said she suspected secrecy among the priests and bishop. Seems quiet. Where is everyone? Someone is hiding in there. Doubt he'll come out. I'll have to find a way in. Stop! Ah! Enough! Ah, leave me be, please! What has you doused in sweat and trembling so? The, the red hand. They're everywhere. Please, I don't want any trouble. Looks as though everyone else has fled this place. So why are you still here? Waiting for the bishop. One of our brothers said he would return soon. That's all I know, I swear it! Where's this other priest? He's locked himself in. That house, just there. Ah! Huh? Blood. There was a struggle here. Ugh, the stench. He looks like searcher's shit. Several Christian texts. The abbess was right to cast suspicion in the bishop's way. Charred letter beneath the body. He must have tried to hide it before he died. Someone knew the bishop was conflicted and killed him before he could say a word. It's a confession. The bishop played a part in destroying these texts against his own will. The rest of the letter is burned, but makes mention of the minster and the abbess. Is that why she's been keeping these texts? Look around. Search every room. They're around here somewhere. The Red Hand. I need to leave. We will burn that sinner just like the others. What? <laughs> Stay out of the way, heathen. The target sent the red hand after me. I must be closing in. It is time I head to the minster. 
The Abbess knows more than she's letting on. Soon in. Guide me. Firebrand's plan is coming to fruition. Don't fight. have secured the minster. you're doing this is no place for you priest go now blasphemy stop this at once something troubling you father abbess look they are burning all of these passages why are you not stopping this because they ordered them to what the vellum that burn before you are covered in lies. So long as they exist, you cannot hope to see the world the way it truly is. 
Lies. Abbas, what has happened to you? We are God's children all. Do not renounce him like this. Please, I beg of you. You can still repent. God will forgive you. You know he will. Your mind has been poisoned, but worry not. We have the antidote. We will set a new example to which all may aspire. You... you... you're mad! You won't get away with this. I won't let you... There's no one to tell. No one who will hear your cries. If you cannot bear to watch them burn, then you should burn with them. I want it all destroyed. Every text, every passage, every scribbled piece of paper, everything. It is time to end this. Yes, Firebrand. The Abbess is the Firebrand. She'll kill whoever stands in her way. Time I get between her. For the light! Aid me, be my eyes.
the firebrand still not the firebrand but i have you now Asked about this level. Fire that burns in the I've always had it. A longing to do something grand and important. But that door was always shut to me. My methods deemed too severe. I was cast out. Shunned. Scorned. But the Order, they took notice of me. Saw that it was courage that drove me. Courage to change the world for the better. They reopened that door. And you used your chance to destroy a way of life you did not support. We have seen time and time again what happens when people are left to interpret for themselves. Knowledge must be controlled. Only then can the message be widely understood. The day where there is but one truth draws nearer. One truth, that is what the Order offers. This one sought to spark a new flame, but did so with a heavy hand, not a teacher's tongue. This cleansing of yours ends here. My work is incomplete, but not inconsequential. There are others who carry on, for one of the four is us. Why did you say that? What does it mean? Now I go. A flame that grows bright and burns ever more, ever light. To Helheim, where cold and crueler fires await. Return to Lufina. She'll want to know about Abbas Ingeborg's involvement.
What news do you bring? The Firebrand's flame burns no longer. It was Jorvik's abyss, Inkiburg. Gods, I would never have suspected. Does the orders reach no no bounds? None. And it is often those we least expect who carry out their ambitions. The abbess sought to destroy all Christian texts in the city. Rid Jorvik of their ideals. She did utter a phrase that perked my ears. One of the four is ours. Four? But there are only three targets in Jorvik. Could there be something we're missing? Damn Picts! Not only do they hold the north, but those lawless chicks have free roam in our lands as well. Yours said our spies are on the ground. Under the ground. Only one of them has returned, bone-beaten and bloodied. The howling mother take them. Lovina, a moment of your time, and hear if he's about. I will be with you shortly. Two more left to hunt. The disputes coming out of the docks lately have been deafening. Head there and dig around. Something is bound to turn up. Trade Depot. This must be where the merchants' wares are being kept. The Dark Master. I do not see him. Is he here? Keep working. You have no business here. He has a loud mouth. Usually stands right around here, yarping. Hard to miss. Fuck off. There must, there must be another way in. Well guarded by the Red Hand. The owner has a stake in these dogs. What are you doing? You're supposed to be in the market. I know, I... I forgot which... It seems like the complaints by the merchants never reached the council. On their stores. Gods never you mind. Someone else will take care of it. You are playing with fire, Bobby. The needle is known to sting for far less than this. Exotic wares. These are worth plenty. Something that could be on the Red Hand's agenda. Accumulating wealth. The sting of a needle. I'm on his trail. So, the Dark Master seizes cargo and resells it through merchants in the marketplace. The ones involved bear black cloths. I may be able to get their attention by showing some silver around the marketplace.
Cuppergate Market. I'll flash some silver to the merchants. That should get their attention. Keep your focus. There was trouble at the depot earlier. What do you mean, trouble? I don't know for sure. But the Needle is calling for more protection. <coughs> Meet me here at night. We will go see him together. Those guards will return after dark. I might be able to follow them to the Needle. We will go one by one, and if any of these peddlers gives you a hard time, remind them just who it is they work for. Oh, with pleasure. I hear this marketplace sees its fair share of silver path through. I have something that may interest you. You will want to speak to Grigori. The Dark Master? Sorry. Who are you? Someone who wants to do business. With Grigori. I don't know your face. And I've said too much already. Please, go. Psst. Psst. Hey! Did I hear you talking about silver? I'm looking to spend the large sum, not fork it over to some street beggar. Oi! I'm no beggar, you dolt. I'm with the big dogs. You mean the needle? You have something he wants. If you truly want to make a trade, head to the statue near the east gate. I shall. Watch yourself around here, young one. Oh, me? <laughs> Please. I have a bigger sword than a lot of them. Have you any wine for sale? There's nary a drop in town. Sorry. All the wine's been bought up for the old type beast. Shame. I could do with a cup. But the last this feast is the talk of the town. I am eager for it. Good man, that Alden. The guards here are vigilant. This is the statue the child talked about. Now to find the hidden key. If I follow them, they should lead me to the needle. cards and a black cloth marking the house this is the place hmm locked hiding among the rats needle fitting
sound of metal. A workshop in the sewers. What is the needle's operation? They're melting the silver into bars and coins. What do they plan on doing with it? No, please, don't do this. I promise. I promise to your silver next week. Please, don't do this. It's a misunderstanding, that's all. I'll pay. You had your chance. I'm not surprised to find you creeping down here. You! You don't belong down here! We run a clean dark in Jorvik. I believe those were your words. And yet here I find you swimming in silver from all the wares you've seized. Are you the Needle, or just another of his pawns? You have it all wrong. The fabric of this world has been used up, torn. Shredded, you see. Someone must be there to stitch it back together. Someone with a firm yet steady hand, who can thread a needle. Someone like me. You are a shit poet, but at least my question is answered. <laughs> yes, well, we all have our weaknesses. Yours appears to be the iron between us. I think your men are going to stop me. I would not undermine them so. The Red Hand are loyal to our cause, which is more than I can say for the merchants. Make it quick! Meet me in the marketplace when you are done! Walk with me. It is good to walk. <laughs> Gregory! Good to take in the air. The sights, the sounds, the smells. Please, Gregory, I, 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 I didn't think you'd mind. It was just a few coins. Shh, 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 shh. I understand. It's not your fault. It was mine for thinking you had anything but empty air between your ears. With all the silver I've given you, I have nothing left to feed my children, let alone myself. Please, understand. Oh, dear God. Merchants of Jorvik, I promised you a future rife with opportunity. And what was the one thing I asked in return? Do you remember? Loyalty. Loyalty! Let this serve as a lesson, should any of you think it a good idea to threaten my operation. Best not to draw attention here. I do the thinking. You do as you're told.
It's funny. As a child, I thought of snow as the tears of God, frozen by our sins. Weak with hunger, I stared into the sky, hoping it was me he wept for. Me he sought to save. But God did not save me. The vault did. He took me to a fine house, he gave me hearty meals, a warm bed. For the first time, someone extended a hand, showed me kindness, compassion. And it was then that I made a vow. I vowed to never turn my back on he who was there for me when God was not. So you served the Bolt, knowing full well what he was a part of. The Order made our paths intersect. I owed them a debt. And I repaid it by saving this city from its own destruction. A life debt is a strong motivator. It took hold of this one's Hugard, drove it, and never let go. Yet not with the same compassion you were shown. Too many have suffered by your hand in pursuit of this course. You're right. Perhaps I deserve this death, but I am but one cog in a large wheel, one that still turns unhindered. Not for long. Where you have gone, there will be no tears waiting for you. Ugh! <sighs> 